Hey, I'm getting ready to tell you all about this clump cooler here, but the thing that I noticed I didn't talk about in the video is it even comes with a little remote control and the fitting for the water on the back of it. Check this thing out, this thing's really cool. It's gonna knock that temperature down and keep you cool. Let's get into it. Hey friend, smash that subscribe button, it really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. And then we started adding uh, timestamps, so a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. Hey friends, Shane from HowToWrench.com, and we are here in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's hot. 112 degrees out, feels like 120. And our swamp cooler, Maybe Cody's got a point, maybe we got a problem or whatnot, but it's 103 or so for the air coming out of there. So it's stinking hot. It is very hot. I've been running this little, you know, uh, miniature swamp cooler for, geez, I don't know, a couple of years. I had it in my house when I had an AC unit go out. It was pretty cool. It dropped the temp about 20 degrees. And so Vivor, you've seen us doing all the videos on their welders, the ultrasonics. Gosh, we've used a lot of the Vivor tools here in the shop now. But they said they had one of these that we could try it out. And I thought, man, this thing would be cool. And then we got it, and we were pretty pleasantly surprised because not only has it got a cup holder, check this out. You put ice packs in it. And so it's pumping it up from the bottom into this little pump right there and then trickling over. And should we do a thing? Now, what I did is I filled up this one. I kind of wanted to compare the output, and we got to thinking because it's, it's making about the same. It's dropping around 20-some degrees. This will get down to like 82 or so. Let's see, 83. Oops, I keep moving it. Oh, that's another thing that this has that this doesn't. As you can see, the louvers are swinging. Got a button right there. Turn that off. Just keep them right where they're at. Yeah, they're getting that 83, 81, 78. Oh, wait, 77? Yeah, we hit that 77 again. That's pretty sweet. But this is super cool to be able to move that air across. I don't want to move right now. I think I'm just going to stay here the rest of the day. Uh, but we are in a big open shop. You know the square footage of this building? Uh, 3,500 or 4,000 square feet. Yeah, something like that. And obviously these are meant for like a small room or an office or something like that when you really think about knocking down a big amount but i'll tell you what to have this thing just situationally on you and like feeling that on my back as i'm working on the bike that uh 20 degree cooler fan air is pretty cool thanks for some comparisons to show on this one yeah, this one's not quite as good so we're winning on the uh vivor but if i find a spot in here i'll actually get somewhat similar performance but this one seems to be winning. And what we really think, I, I think what's kind of bringing them back a little more equal is when I filled that fresh out of the tap, even though Phoenix has pretty hot water, I think I got a long run of cool water that got into it because I checked the tank in here. And so the water tank itself, you can see my water temperature's, you know, 70, okay? And it's actually getting warmer because it's been sitting out for like an hour or so. so Somewhat similar, getting a little better performance out of here, but I'll tell you, the real winner here is all the adjustability. The fan speed, uh, there's a timer. It has an automatic shutoff on the pump, so it says it'll start beeping at you when the water tank gets low, if you hadn't had one of these before. And then it'll shut off, so you're gonna save it. This guy's more rudimentary, where if you don't watch the water level, you're gonna run it out. Let's find the... Uh, there's the fill on it here. There's the water level. And like I said, it's pretty, pretty super basic here. Okay. Take a look there. And both of them have these type of hose fillings. So if you look at the V-Bore one though, you know, we didn't even use it because what we did is we just came in on the top here and just filled it right from here to fill the tank down there. But I just can't get over these ice packs. That's stinking cool. I just want to hover over this too. So you can see the drain holes there. And there's just something about useful space to me. Like the fact that I could set my drink on here 
water bottle might be too big, but let's see. That water bottle's too big. But the fact that I can like set, you know, something down on here, I like it compared to this. It's obviously just gonna roll off. So I think it was a smart move to keep that flat top on there. So I'm digging it. Well, hey friends, we just wanted to share this with you. Like I said, pretty stinking cool to, I like this timer too. That's sweet. I have to play with this. So then you could just set it and like just walk away from it and forget about it, so. But hey, Vivor, thanks. You know, after I got done making this video, I decided to go back and kind of compare the original I bought with this one on price. And, and just think about all the different features or whatnot. It's just amazing how much stuff depreciates. But when I bought my little green one, it was 300 and some dollars. Maybe it was middle of summer and Home Depot was just gouging on it. Who knows? I see online now they're like 190 bucks. I see this one without any coupons is 199. And for 10 bucks, it's wild. You get the ice chest, you get the adjustable motor powered louvers, you get the cup holders, you get the water safety pump shutoff circuit, you get better casters. The other features I'm gonna love about this thing is the top fill. That's just gonna be super fast and easy. And then ultimately the uh, timer and remote control features on this are gonna be pretty cool too. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck on this thing. So I definitely recommend this and check it out. Appreciate it knocking down the temp in the shop here on 112 degree day is no joke, so thumbs up i'll put some links below you can check it out yourself to see if you want to get one of these bad boys for your workspace I, i'm gonna tell you this when i had my two stall home shop garage it was a storage unit where it was a two stall this thing actually worked fantastic i closed the door down about halfway and it actually really cooled the space and that was just on this little one so i can only imagine you stick this in a two stall garage and the great thing about it is you don't have exhaust if you will to worry about you know so it's just cooling the air as it's coming in and knocking it knocking it down so all right once again i'll put the links below like share subscribe as always make it a great day and keep wrenching hey friends we're super excited to announce that the how to wrench channel has been approved for memberships what's that mean for you what would it look like if you could get member only content Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world in over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to uh, help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's going to go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're going to get the deep dive videos. Two, you're going to get access to member only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a back and forth Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community has always been about helping each other and getting those answers to the questions we need i mean you got to remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that i'm trying to do so we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this a community that is more attentive so we want to be more relationship focused that's a big thing of the memberships the other thing is uh, YouTube does this I think it's kind of funny but we're doing the emojis so if you're a new member it's gonna be a green one we kind of went along the lines of like training does in most certification programs bronze is your entry level uh, silver is your middle of the road and then gold is your top certified but we added one more we added a red one just to say hey thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while so for all you that love that kind of stuff it's there for you what else are you gonna get with this what you're gonna get is really honestly in, in my opinion it's really a way just to say thank you we've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg if you will but to try and encourage and remind people that hey I, I got a full-time job like I've always done this on my own buck all these expenses are my own 
As I moved to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. We got a building, insurance, you know, it, we got everything. So it costs a lot to be able to do all this. And we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. I hope you thought, man, that's really a great idea. Look at the options below and hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you and what attracts you. So we are going to get back at it. We're super excited about this. We're already going to start moving forward, making content that's member only. So those videos we were just talking about. But my friends, whatever you're doing, be safe. I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.